Hi, I'm Matt from HockeyReviews.ca and this is a Bauer Vapor 2X Pro kind of initial review unboxing. So this is not my set. I have a custom set that is going to be ordered. Um, I've obviously not played on these. They still have the tags. Uh, local store got in early. This is the place I ordered from. And so they said, uh, hey, you can check it out if you want. So I did. So here it is. Um, so this video will be a comparison review and kind of uh, a side-by-side of the 2X Pro and the 1X pads, the gloves, and will be shown off in another video because I'll compare them to kind of Bauer's older equipment, specifically the 1X catching glove, 1X blocker, and 1S blocker. So we'll get these out of the way. Um, they'll also, I guess this video will also, or there'll also be a comparison video of the 2X Pro to the 2S Pro goalie pads. Um, so check out that video as well. All those will be linked in the description. Um, but for now, we are going over the 2X Pro. So obviously from the get-go, you can see these aren't the same size. Um, this is a large, this is an extra large, but again, this aren't, these aren't my pads. And the color difference, I wouldn't say really worry about it. These were prototype pads that had a different color than they should have. Um, so one pad was a different color than the other. I can, like this is almost a cream, this is a white. Don't worry about that. Um, regardless, I'll go over the different features of these two. Um, and we'll kind of go over some of the new things on these when we pull the pads a little closer. But as a side-by-side, -side, we'll kind of take a look at them uh, here. The one big, big difference that I'm finding so far is how soft the boot is. So the Vapor previously had a soft boot compared to the Supreme. The Supreme felt fused. I can't remember if it was or not. And this one was a bit softer, had a bit of give in it. And the new Vapor, which we have here, is totally softer. Like this is very, very soft boot. It's very flexible. Um, if that's what people want, then all good. I was happy with how the boot was in the 1X, but it's nice that Bauer offers something a little bit lighter, or uh, sorry, a little bit softer because these pads um, are pretty stiff compared to others, um, which speaking of stiffness, so Bauer now actually offers a bunch of options on these pads. One of them being, uh, you can get a thicker version, so it's like the pro thickness. Um, another one is you can get different thicknesses throughout the actual pad itself. Here it says dynamic flex core, which I'll show kind of when we're down closer, closer. I didn't order this, so I ordered a stiffer version, so mine should be pretty stiff. So I think it's a, it should be about the same as what the Supreme is. Um, but regardless how this actually pl plays for stiffness, as you can see, it's pretty stiff. I'm working to do that. I could bend this if I really wanted to, but that's a pretty stiff pad. And remember, this is Bauer's soft pad. So this is their softer pad. As you can see, mine's a little softer. Actually, so this is the only 2X Pro I've seen. Um, so I'm assuming that this thigh rise is kind of how they all will be. And if we put it next to what mine is, Mine is obviously used more, but I never flex this at all. Um, you can kind of like where this bends or doesn't really bend right here. It doesn't feel like there's an inner real break right there where on mine it does. There's definitely a gap there. So I, I, it seems that they even stiff, stiffen this core up a little bit right here. Um, for me, I'm happy about that, but it's kind of interesting that Bauer kind of has two stiff pads. This is a stiffer pad compared to a lot of other companies. Um, so it's kind of interesting that since I'm sure you can bend this, I've seen like you watch Cam Ward play, he does have a nice curve to him. Um, this one obviously doesn't, it's really straight, but Ward's does have a curve. So you can clearly flex those and bend those if you really want to. Uh, but this is how it comes stock. I think that is about it from this view on the side. Um, we'll move it a little closer and take a kind of a, another look. All right, so I know everyone hates this kind of when they're opposites. Um, they won't really stand up if I don't do it this way, so kind of deal with it for a little bit. Um, so you can see the face of the pad has changed pretty dramatic, dramatically, uh, dra drastically. Um, so basically the old one had kind of these slats throughout it, as you can kind of see here and up here. The new one isn't, it's a more standard so uh, straight face, but now it has dimples. So it has dimples down here and it has dimples up here. Um, so hopefully that's coming up on the camera where the other one had like kind of slats and like kind of bumps down here, not really dimples because they come out. So kind of a more simplistic look on the newer one, um, but then compared to the old one. One thing people always give crap to Bauer about their graphics. 
I liked the One X graphics, um, but it was too limiting. Like you only had the X, that's all you could do. This one, at least, you do have your color zones. Um, but it's still really odd to me how, like, they had pros where this pad for pictures and um, Mark Shamort for a while for the Canucks, where you could actually get these little, like, square kind of things designed with colors. And I actually wanted to do that on mine, but I couldn't because that's not one of the options, so it's kind of annoying. Um, the other thing is Bauer supposedly offering a new custom customizer in, and, like, stores have the books for it. And But until I actually see one in a customer's hand, I'm still not waiting on that because I, I still would want to see one first regardless not a whole lot has changed on the face of the pad um, you still have your kind of angled tip right here everything else is pretty similar um, the toe binding stuff is pretty similar so the pad like the material feels it's a little bit updated but not much it feels more basically like the 2s pro um, so it's not a huge deviation from that. But now we'll look at the other parts of the pad, which will show off a bunch of differences. So, so here, um, so here are, or is where there's some pretty big differences. And by big, I mean like it's evolution, not uh, revolution basically for this pad. Um, in my opinion, the One X was a great pad, but it was still a little, had some things that they had to change on it. This one is a little bit of those changes, um, but it's still pretty similar overall for the pad. Looking at the side, you hopefully can kind of see those similarities, but also some of the differences. Um, so I guess we'll start down here because this is where closest to the camera. Um, binding is pretty much the same, although it looks to come a little further down. It might just be because this is a large and that's an XL, but binding is pretty much the same there. Um, they still have this exposed nylon binding here, which I'm pretty disappointed in. There is some wear here, as you can see, and I rotate pads a lot. So if I was just wearing this, it'd be worn out more. I'm kind of disappointed in that. I wish they had that more there. They went to a Gen Pro material right here. So this is, I'm pretty sure, just like how the 2S Pro was, um, this material, if would eventually kind of come off because it was just glued down, as you can see me kind of peeling it off. Um, this is for a wear spot right here. So this material on a break it's kind of better to have the Gen Pro. It's a little bit more durable in that sense. So it's nice that they did this. It's a nice upgrade in that sense. The core tech on the side, as you can see, the graphic has changed. Um, and the way that they like now cover this binding is it's, it's the same. It's I'm, this one does look like it's a little more closer to the edge of the, uh, like the actual landing surface. I'm not sure if it is. I've seen these in kind of different, like kind of all done slightly differently. My orange pads I had for these, um, was like this was totally flush. So I'm not sure if that's just a slight manufacturing difference or if it's on purpose, but that's what we have here. Um, this is like still like a plastic, it says Cortec, but it feels like almost like a plastic material. This is really hard. I, I give Bauer huge props for this because I believe this is one of the big reasons why these pads slide so well. It's kind of this material right there. Um, and I like how it's really, it's pretty stable where it is. It doesn't really fly out and doesn't flop around. I'm a huge fan of that. Now, one of my big complaints of this pad was the exposed binding here, especially for how it's a modern and updated pad. And you have this exposed binding. Bauer has fixed that because now there's kind of an outer layer to this knee, this landing zone, which it has, it's, I believe this is Gen Pro. It doesn't quite, it's not quite this. Or if it is, it's just, it's not like tightened as much. You can see it has this binding here. They got rid of that. Um, but this does feel, this feels more like that material than it does like this feels more like the face of the pad. So I believe this is the core tech, but it's not um, it's not quite the same as this. I'm almost disappointed in that because I feel like this one, again, contributed to the great sliding of the pad and it, perhaps it would be more durable. There's gotta be a reason they did it. I'm not sure what it is, um, but you do remove that binding, which is nice. And you do remove the binding here, which is nice. But with that said, you still have some uh, like stitching right here. So I'm a little worried about that. Hopefully when you wear these, I guess it would flatten out and, or the stitching won't really be an issue, but just kind of annoying. There's a piece of stitching right there and they couldn't have done something kind of like this where the stitching's hided or hid from the actual sliding of the pad. Uh, the thigh rise is basically the same. It's pretty thin. Still have your binding up there. Not a huge issue right here, more where your actual pressure points are going to be. Um, so we'll take a look at the other side of the pad now and the actual, um, kind of side of the pad. 
So as you can see, you do have that bigger wear guard right here, um, where the older one was kind of just a, a stickered on thing. This got bigger on the non-prototypes, and this one, as you can see, is a nice piece of Gen Pro. Here it says you have your free flex 100 degree boot. I don't know exactly what they're talking about. I don't know if it's like this is 100 degrees somehow they measure that, or if the flex is, I haven't looked up the marketing and I can't really find a ton of marketing on this to be totally honest. Um, but with that said, as you can see, they kind of changed the like logo in here. Um, no vapor on the front, vapor on the side where it was Bauer. It's Bauer's kind of like 3D textured glued on pieces that some people don't like. I have no issues with it. Um, and looking at the side, here's you have the Dynaflex, dynamic core, sorry, and it does, so there's your flex on it. Um, it is a stiff pad. I'm sure you could break it in, but that is kind of what it is. So that's about it for this side. Now we'll go onto the back and the strapping. First we'll look at the boot. Um, so I always thought the 1X was an interesting boot because of how it had these like sticky things that always fell off. As you can see over here, uh, most of them are falling off. I loved their um, like stretchy cord. It kind of, I think it was pretty good for the best of both worlds. In a sense you got um, like a stretchy kind of standard toe tie so you can do it the way you want it to, but it is stretchy. But it, I found it did kind of split apart pretty good. Um, as you can see, split apart all over here. I do like how Bauer has their tie, the little tie piece down here. Um, so that carries over on the two, X, two X's right here. And you do have your uh, bootstrap loop right there and right here if you want to use a bootstrap. I don't use a bootstrap with mine, so probably won't be using it. So as you can see in the back, they did do some upgrade or changes to the materials here. You have kind of a different depth material. I'm a huge fan of it. It's on a like a bunch of bower pads, bunch of player gear and, and their their gloves too. I love it. I find it pretty durable. It's like a nylon, but it has a little bit more texture to it. So I'm a huge fan of that. They got rid of the weird grip things here. And I think the biggest thing is they have, so now it's an offset uh, like smart strap or sorry, kind of like Brian's smart strap, but it's a bungee cord. So these are, I don't know if these are made by Monster or if they're just Monster branded. Um, they have the Bauer name at the back, which is something Monster did not do. They didn't kind of press in logos like that. Um, so I don't know if this is made by Monster or not. I'm not gonna comment anything on Monster. Um, other people have done that. So I'm gonna leave it at that. Next, we look on to kind of the strapping on the back. So very similar. Like I said, this pad is kind of just a, evolution of this pad rather than a like a revolution and a big change um you still have your i think this I can't, evo light i think it's called um it should tell me aero light so the aero light foam kind of for the calf wings i'm a huge fan of this material i mentioned it before i have player shoulder pads made out of it and i love it um so they changed the detailing up on it a little bit just to kind of match the current design a little bit more you still have your cap your outer wrap right there with the inner wrap and your tune fit strap system um, so these ones a friend of mine is actually using and he put a CRS strap in here um, from a 1S pad to make it kind of work slightly differently. Um, and it's also because I lost these straps on mine. So he's kind of made a jerry rig of that, which is a decent option. I might go with that. So anyways, we open this pad up in the back here. And if I can tilt this back up, so hopefully it's visible. Or maybe I can just pull it down. And this is kind of awkward because of how this outer flap works. So the vapor uh, light channel is very, very similar, if not the exact same. It is kind of, it's a nice Nash. It might be Quattro. I think it's Quattro, it is. So this is all a nice Quattro material right here, as well as the older one. The newer one just has some updated graphics, not a huge change there. You can see there, like they have their abrasion zone here, which was kind of this more rubbery or like, like material there. It's all on the outside. That's all kind of where your Velcro would be. It's also on the other side of it right here. Hopefully this all shows up. Um, and then you have your 30, I don't know if this is 37.5 because this doesn't have it labeled. Um, but regardless, that is kind of the pad itself. We go in here, you can kind of see your tune fit straps. I will probably go to, I like a bit, so I got these in long. Um, so we'll see how that fits because I like these pads to fit a bit looser. And I find with this, I couldn't really get it to fit that loose. Um, so we'll see how that works out in the future. But that's about it for this part of the pad. Again, no pillow here or anything. This pad 
Uh, the older pad played, and sorry, the older pad, I mean the 1X, played like a, like I said this before, player's irons where you need technique, it doesn't really cheat for you. I have a feeling this is gonna play very similar as well. So we're gonna flip these over. So now looking at the thigh rise, you can kind of see some slight differences uh, between the two here. You're gonna have your name embroidery right here. Before I think it was done right there. You still have your loop for your knee pads and as well, I use this to actually carry the pads around. It's kind of nice in that sense. Curve logo here, uh, curve logo down there, same thing. So the pad, the pad, there's pads core like the face of it has curved composite for bigger rebounds and for a stiffer pad. That's what it is there. All right, so we open up this just to kind of take a look and it's pretty, pretty similar. Um, and actually, I would say this one might be a little bit smaller, but it feels pat just as padded, if not more padded. Just you got some newer or different detailing on it, but it's quattro nash all the way through. One nice piece is that this is now adjustable knee, uh, knee flap. So you can see you have it right here, you have it right here, and then if, I'm sure if you do this the other way, so pull this out and then pull it that way, you could even have it on the outside as well. Um, so a big fan of that. I have bigger knee pads, so I'll probably move this to the outside. It's kind of what I do with mine. Um, and then you can always just put this down there too if you want. But I think that's about it for these pads, and that's kind of the initial review and the initial look at these pads, comparing them to the previous version. Um, the, like these aren't, game changers and set compared to the one X they're just slight improvements and that's not a bad thing because I still think this pad is very good it's very lightweight it's very leading edge in tech and kind of performance so that's kind of a good thing in my eyes uh, I'm really excited to grab mine when I grab whenever they come in and so I can wear them and do a full review on but hopefully this video was uh, pretty helpful now oh one thing I did want to bring up so with the knee so they have this velcro that holds all the knee block in place. So before it would cover nicely like that. And so far from what I saw, I can't get this to cover all the way. So if you look, I can't, it's always exposed right here and it's also at the bottom and I can't get this part to cover. So that is gonna kind of get caught up on your pants most likely. Um, so for me, if I, when I get these pads, I'm gonna check that. And if that's the case, I'm probably going to stick some uh, like Velcro or some material on this so it doesn't catch on anything else. And actually while we're here, just for fun, let's take a look at what this knee block is. So we can undo this and we have the actual block itself. So this feels like a very hard foam or a plastic and then we can undo this as well. So have that block so you can adjust this to make it a bit tighter. Um, and again, this is kind of all done so it all the block sits very stable. So we'll close this back up. We'll close this back up and close that. What, so one of the nice things about how Bauer is handling the 2X Pro now, and I believe the 2S Pro, more so the 2X because there's more options with it, is that they are giving you more options and customizable features. So the stock version of this, um, there's your knee wing with your kind of, like, it's just kind of extended and it's on an angle. So they have other ones too. So they have a Pro Bump. So this part is like, thickened out down here so you get like maximum coverage here. I think there's an angled one too. And then there's the Supreme version. I got the Pro Bump, so we'll see how that is when I actually get it and use it. Uh, but again, I'll do another video of these when my pads come in so I can talk about them. But that's it for this. So hopefully this video was very helpful um, and it was pretty interesting. Check out the other videos for this compared to the two S Pro pads. And then check out the other videos for the glove videos and yeah, catch a glove blocker and kind of comparisons for them. Um, so yeah, thank you very much for watching. Remember to like uh, like this video, subscribe to me on YouTube, follow me on Twitter, Instagram. Helps me get gear kind of like this um, so I can do reviews on it and actually talk about products and make content for you. Um, I love talking about gear. I love demoing gear. I can't afford to buy everything all the time. So that kind of just helps me out so I can get on the company's radars. And so I can hopefully get it like in the future a demo set a little bit earlier than this. So I could do a video on it. Um, yeah. And remember, if you ever purchase a piece of equipment because of one of my videos, please reach out to the manufacturer on social media and let them know. Uh, it helps to get them get on their radar uh, for the, all the same reasons. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Check out those other videos and take it easy.